to my blog .com. This is the uh, technique or the card we made at Club uh, this month in March and if you look at it carefully magic so it changes from a card with no colour and when you pull it all the colour comes so I'm going to show you how I don't really know what this type of card's called um, we'll just call it a magic card The top of the card is actually the opening here and um, I'm going to be using the spotty image from the perpetual ca birthday calendar. It's this image here and because there's no cushion on a po photopolymer stamp I'm going to be stamping on top of my piercing mat or we'll put some scrap paper on to protect it. And I'm using a tone on tone Tangelo Twist ink to stamp randomly on the card. And if you want it to look random, it's easier to turn your cardstock as you stamp. Next, I'll put some sticky strip along the two sides there, but I'm not sticking it down at all because we need to cut an aperture for the front of on the front of the card and we're going to be using the counting from the inside outwards the smallest to the largest, we're going to be using one, two, three, four, the fourth and the fifth squares. To make your cutting sandwich, first you need a magnetic platform, your bottom cutting plate, your cardstock, and the smaller of the two squares centered on the plate, centered on the card, and then your top cutting plate on top. And now you're ready to run it through the big shot. There's my aperture cut. Now I need to cut a frame to go round it with this scrap of Island Indico cardstock. So here's my frame cut. And you've got a leftover, the, the centre which is left over. Don't discard that because we can punch out a circle with this leftover piece of cardstock. First you want to get rid of all the stray elements of the paper. That Normally you get little strands of it. You want to apply a bit of Tombow on the back of the frame. Just a very thin line so it doesn't squelch out of the frame and that's a pretty good fit press down gently then use the one inch circle punch and find the center Punch out a circle or a finger hole and punch out one from the leftover cardstock, and then we'll set that aside. So I'll bring back my stamp scrap of paper, and now I wish to stamp an image on here. So for that, I need my black stays on ink. And 
you want to stamp more or less toward the bottom in the center and the reason for that is because you're going to have to fit the finger um, hole up on the top in a semicircle. You need to fold that in half, um, but we'll come back to that later. But you see the reason why you need to stamp it a bit lower down to the card rather than right in the middle. Now, I'm going to be doing a bit of colouring now and I've reverted back to the marker pens because as of um, Friday, which makes it the 27th of February, uh, Stamping Up had to turn off the codes for all the blend abilities. Um, there, apparently there's some sort of manufacturing fault and they they thought it was easier just to turn the codes off. Right, I'm going to... This is Island Indigo I'm using. And I'm just going to try and get the tartan effect. And this is Tangelo Twist. I'm using the thick end. I think I might need a third colour to fill in the gaps. So this is Hello Honey, fill in the white bits, I thought I'd better zoom in closer because you probably couldn't see very well what I was doing. Um, as to when those blendability pens will be available again, um, we have no news at the moment but I'm sure an announcement will be made as soon as they are available again. So this is a sort of generic shape, isn't it? So it could be a chick. So I think I will um, paint him yellow as well. Not paint, I mean colour. And since I've got the Tangelo twist, I can use that for his beak. And then for the sentiment, I'll use Hooray from Cheerful Critters in Tangelo ink, Tangelo Twist ink. I find these names hilarious. Um, I wonder who it is who sits in the office to make up these names for our colours. They're quite exotic, aren't they? We need to put the window sheet, I don't know whether you can see that, um, on top of the image you've just coloured and it has to be exactly the same size. Place it over the image that we've coloured. Make sure it's laid on top and that it's an exact match. Then we take the imaging sheet away and we need to stamp again to mark the stays on ink on top of the layer underneath, the coloured layer underneath. So make sure that's secure and we stamp straight down onto the window sheet and lift it straight up. So there you have it. Then you want to put sticky strip on your circle as well. So you can attach it to the 
window sheet and your stamped image. Just remove the sticky strip, protective layer, and pop that on top. Now you can use a handheld punch but I don't think it's strong enough um, so I'm using a crocodile which Stamping used to carry but unfortunately doesn't anymore and punch through all the layers. First you need to insert the window sheet part through your aperture and the stamped image goes around the back and your window sheet goes in the front and that's how the magic happens so as you pull it out um, the colours will appear from the back and on the front when you push it down again it goes back to the um, uncoloured section so now once that's in you need to open that up and you only want to stick it on this part of the card. Okay, so just cut Tombow glue on the back of this. And as you can see, when it goes up, it stops it from coming out of the housing. Once that's been done, you're ready to glue it into your card so you don't want to apply glue on um, any of this it's only on the back portion of this bit and all you have to do is just centre it on the window Then remove the sticky strip from there. And seal the card. And just, you can see how that works. Can jello twist thick baker's twine which is the new freebie being given away for every £45 spend during celebration and that lasts up to the 31st of March so if you want to take advantage of this wonderful promotion do contact me email me let's say about six inches worth of this twine, thread it through, or rather poke it through, so I'm never going to get that through that tiny hole without a little bit of help. There we go. So there you have it. So I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, fun card um, <clears throat> and if you'd like to take advantage of the celebration products with every £45 you spend you get a, a free product. Um, just get in touch with me um, at blog.stampwithalane.com You'll find the supplies I have used available on my online store just click on the shopping cart in the right hand column of my blog you can also connect with me through my facebook page or my youtube channel here at stampwithelane.com thanks for visiting my blog and i hope to see you soon Bye.